It's Sunday afternoon, I've got some old rope, and for today's lockdown adventure, I'm going cyclining in my backyard. <laughs> Earlier this year, I photographed a good friend of mine, Brad, doing some high lining between cliffs, and that's inspired me to get a little bit better at cyclining and at high lining. I've just got a bit of old, retired static rope that I'm gonna use to tie between two trees and see if I can balance on it. One of the things I really want to learn is how to sit, start, or get up from my bottom. It's something that I'm not very good at and I don't feel very balanced. I think one of the things that has held me back when I've been on a high line. So I'm going to have a few goes at that and see how I go. Woo! It's the first time I've ever got up like that before. Doing this, I'm just trying to imagine a lot of air below me as if I was on a high line. <laughs> oh, I just ate it. I really enjoy the process of learning and trying something new. I know that things are always really hard when you first try them. And I guess what else do you expect if you've never done something before? I do enjoy the process of being a beginner and just working at something until I finally figured it out. I'm just trying to figure out different things that are gonna improve my skills. I've seen Brad try surfing before, so I think we're gonna have a go at that. Surfing's basically where you try and swing the line from side to side. Oh, I think I got I think I'm gonna try something a little bit longer and a little bit more challenging. So I've rigged this one a fair bit higher off the ground just to allow for a little bit of rope stretch. I think this one's gonna be a lot harder to walk just given how long it is. The rope rolls off your feet a little bit more. Sack line is generally a long piece of webbing so it oh. tends to not want to roll around as much underneath your feet. Oh. Man, I got myself in the nuts. That's only ever happened once. You don't make that mistake too often. I'm not game enough to try and stand on it, given what happened before when it got me between the legs. I'm gonna try and get onto the line from underneath. If you fall off a high line, um, you need to have a way of getting back up, so I'll have a, I'll have a go at that. I think I need to kick my leg under more. Might be a bit tricky with this clearance, but we'll have a crack. It's gonna be hard to stand up facing this way. Oh no, that's definitely it for me. I'm um, I'm buggered. That was hard work. I've just finished backing up, and um, I reckon I'm gonna be doing a fair bit more of this sort of cyclining 